Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good Vibrations here to talk just a little bit about sunspots and the sunspot cycle. Just a very brief look at what sunspots actually are and how they affect ham radio operation. So what I would like to do after I come in from a place where we're getting a look at an awful lot of little suns, probably all with their own little cycles of spots, is to take a look at the cover of Ham and Shortwave Radio for the Electronics Hobbyist, the book that will be coming out in October by yours truly. Uh, I will provide a link to the Amazon.com page for this book in the description of this video. You'll learn about this and similar topics in that book and also hopefully learn to have a doggone good time with ham and shortwave radio i sure wouldn't want to be anywhere near this antenna feed line during these weather conditions would you what we're looking at here now is a comparison of the size of a typical sun spot which is a storm on the surface of the sun with respect to our planet Earth. They call them spots and they do look like spots because they are darker than the surrounding region of the solar disk. However, they're still pretty bright. They just look dark because we're looking at them through filtered observation apparatus. The center part, the darkest part, is called the umbra and the outer part is called the penumbra. So when you have a lot of these, you have a peak in the sunspot cycle and here is a graph of the 11 year sunspot cycle reaches a peak approximately 11 years and right now we are uh, just passing the most recent peak which appears to be a little less intense than some of the previous peaks these this is just a very very approximate and rough curve in so far as absolute intensity it's it's just a matter of showing you that the sunspots do go in a cycle like this and the interesting thing though is that every other cycle the magnetic field repeats its polarity so you get uh, a magnet facing in one direction in the sun in effect here the other direction here back to the same original direction here so it's like an alternating current wave in a sense it's like an alternating magnetic field in the Sun that seems to be associated with these spots and I reckon that every star and just about every star has its own spots and its own cycles like this interestingly with periods so long a 22 year period of that wave very interesting stuff it's like an oscillator it's like this is as if the sun were an, a radio frequency oscillator with a signal whose period is 22 years. If you wish to calculate the frequency in hertz and the wavelength in kilometers of such a disturbance, be my guest. But that is what's happening right now. We're passing the peak of a sunspot cycle. We just had what they call a solar flare, which... Um, disrupts shortwave radio communications and it has in fact produced some pretty rotten conditions on the ham and shortwave radio bands of late but things will get better things have to get better they always get better don't they I mean they really seriously you've got to be an optimist yeah especially in intergalactic space where you never know what will happen next the only thing you do know is that it'll happen really, really slowly. Stan Jibalisco signing off, saying 73, W1, good vibrations. So long, until next time.